Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am using these products that my sister-in-law sent me. So thank you, Sabrina, the makeup mom. I am having a blast. So she sent me two of the San Filippo winget liners and I have the blue one on today. The green one I have downstairs. I was playing with that uh, last night to see could I master the winget liner. And I'll tell you what, I freaking love these liners. My only downside to these liners is they sell other colors in other countries, but they only sell black in the United States. So if y'all know how to get a hold of the hazelnut in the United States, mama needs a hazelnut. And there's one that is like a reddish or a maroon color that I thought would be fun to try. But I do have the black one coming because I could at least find the black one. So. I love getting hooked on products and then I can't get to the other colors. Thank you very much, Sabrina the Makeup Mom. I'm just teasing. I actually do love these. Um, so thank you for getting uh, me hooked. It was really easy to go on. I will say when I was playing with this last night, I totally didn't get it off my skin. They kind of do stain. <laughs> so that made me really nervous about using it for the first time for work. And to be honest with you, this is probably the easiest eyeliner I have ever used. It is absolutely amazing. So the winged part I had to figure out. It's got a little triangle. So my eyes are really arched and so I instead of trying to do a wing like most women I went ahead and just pressed it up against where my eyelid is or where my eyelashes match <laughs> touch my um, lid so I use that and it, it seemed to have given me pretty an even wing but what I love even more is this thing looks ginormous okay it does look ginormous right it is but like I've used other big eyeliners before and they just make a mess on the top of the line. This one was really flawless and it was very pigmented. So like I didn't have to keep sweeping over and over again. I don't understand why these haven't taken off more it, and I haven't seen a lot more of these being used on a daily basis because even if you didn't want to use a stamp, this part is off the hook like off the hook it it gives the most flawless line and if you're you're aging and you have wrinkles like i do having something that goes flawless and doesn't hit the wrinkles and give kind of a jagged wavy um yeah a wavy look is phenomenal so for the fact that that did that i'm I'm hooked. I really need hazelnut. If any of y'all get a hold of a hazelnut, I would be greatly indebted to you forever. So, um, the other thing that she sent me was the Ordinary. She sent it in light, medium, and medium. I actually had better luck with the Ordinary uh, foundation than what she did. I don't know why. Um, I, I just had better luck with it than her. I don't know why other than everyone's skin is different and that's why it's fun to watch videos for people that have skin types like you but that doesn't mean just because something works for your skin it's going to work for everyone else's. So she did send me these two which I'm super pumped about. The other thing she sent me was this Physician's Formula. This is a brightening and this helps color correct any dark spots. So I went underneath my eye and a bit on my nose with the color correcting because it seemed like fun. And then this is a brightening. So I use the brightening all over my face because who doesn't want to have a bright face, right? So do I look bright and shiny and healthy and glowing? If I do, it's Physician's Formula. So the last bit that she sent me, and that was, it was fun to try. The last bit she sent me that was fun to try was the Lorac Mega Pro number four palette. Yes, Mega Four. And I haven't used the Lorac colors in a long time. So this is, this has a lot of cool tone colors. It also has some wonderful nudes or warm colors. So I really had fun putting together kind of this halo eye with a bit of this color here on the center. And since it had a blue tone, I went ahead and used the blue eyeliner. 
underneath I picked up this color called Peacock, which I thought was beautiful to just kind of brighten the eye. And then to ground it, I mixed these two and just went a little bit underneath so that that um, Peacock wasn't so much in your face that, yeah, because it was pretty bright without grounding it with the browns. So once again, when I use bright colors, you may have seen in some of my other videos, if you've watched a lot of mine, if you haven't, um, I'm not afraid to use bright colors, but I do ground them with a bit of the browns around it so that that way it doesn't seem as in your face crazy. It kind of softens it a little bit, but gives you a punch of color, if that makes sense. So anyways, I really like this palette. Um, I didn't purchase it for myself because I didn't think I'd like it. And luckily I have a sister-in-law that purchased it, even though I didn't, and sent it to me. So thank you, Sabrina, the makeup mom. This actually has several different looks I'd like to try and play with. This green is really pretty here. Again, you can ground the colors with the browns, the neutrals, but there's just some really pretty, like this Misty Mauve, this Unicorn and Lotus, and then the Flamingo. That might be the next kind of look I use. So I've been trying to do at least two looks with each palette that I've been getting just to give kind of a range to see, you know, what can you do with the palette. I do like this color. I use that a lot with some of my other palettes. So I kind of stayed away from it with this one just because I do, I have used that color quite a bit in some other palettes, but I'm really looking forward to this like lavender next. So who knows what I'll come up with. The palettes do have fallout, so make sure you tap your brush. If you've got sensitive eyes like I do, you really got to be careful about getting the fallout in your eyes because that creates a nightmare. But again, um, I really liked how they blended. I think they blended really well. And it was just kind of easy to do. So anyways, um, I don't know if the Lorac Mega Pro Palette number four is still available. If it is, it it's a really pretty palette. I am i don't know why I didn't pick it up the first time. Have no clue, but thank you to Sabrina the Makeup Mom. I now have had a chance to use it and I've really enjoyed it. So anyways, if you've used any of these products, Tell me what your thoughts are on them. Have you used the Ordinary Foundation? Do you like it? Have you used the Lorac palette? Are you excited about it? And the San Filippo, like these things are killer. So have you tried them? Did you have luck? Did you not have luck? What's your thoughts on these? I need hazelnut in my life. That's all I have to say. I need hazelnut in my life. We're going to go ahead and get started in this tutorial using the different products Sabrina the Makeup Mom has sent. And Sabrina, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's always fun getting a box from you. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start out using this Mineral Wear Cushion Corrector Primer Duo. It's a peach and lavender. And when I read the back, the side, somewhere, it says it's a weightless mineral formula. Um, helps with skin correction and perfecting and it's priming in one revolutionary cushion. The first step is to create a flawless complexion, instantly color correct skin tone, blurs, fine lines, pores, and conceals visible imperfections. So one, the peach is to brighten darkness and the lavender is to bright or just skin brighten. All right, so maybe we can use the peach under the eyes. And it gives you, oh, it gives you the lavender and the peach so you know which side is which. And so we're gonna press down. And we'll try the lavender to brighten. I'll put the lavender everywhere I put maybe some highlighter. I don't know. I've never used this. Okay, so you can shut this little compact there. You put your little cushion bit there. And there you go. Kapow. So I'm wondering how that's going to look underneath my foundation. 
I'm going to go ahead and use my Scandinavia over the top. It's a primer spray just because that's what I'm used to doing. And then we will pick up, I wonder, because I always use the brush that moves, I, I like using a brush with my putting on foundation for the most part, so I'm wondering how that's going to work with this. So let's see. Okay, it looks like my foundation set up pretty good overall. Do I look brightened? And do I look like I have my dull spots covered and I'm absolutely bright? I actually like the combo to be honest with you. So it'll be interesting to see how this peach lavender does by the end of the day. Okay, so I've added a bit more of my face before I keep playing in my box of goodies. So I'm gonna try this San Filippo Wing It. It's an eyeliner stamp. And so I'm going to go ahead and try to put that on before my eyeshadow, just in case I really mess it up. All right, we're going to do this side first because I can never make things match. Not bad for my first one. Now let's see if we can't make this match the other side. That's more what I'm worried about. Okay, this one's slightly up, this one's slightly flat, but they're close enough, we're just going to go with it. So that is a nice little tool. So as you can see, it gave me a little wing, which I do need to fill in a bit more. This side worked good, and actually I was playing with these last night, and this side of my eye, for whatever reason, was being a bugger. So I really like that stamp idea. It's kind of fun. Now we're going to get into the rock palette she sent. And it has a million twenty. Maybe not a million twenty. Feels like a million twenty colors. And so we're going to play with this today. I'm pretty pumped. I haven't used a Lorac palette, I don't think, in a long time. So I'm going to start out with the butterscotch. And you definitely want to tap. Tap, tap, tappy. Just tap it in. So the butterscotch is kind of a really light color. I'm going to go next with the mocha. And that's above the crease. Kind of meeting that butterscotch. And who doesn't like mocha and butterscotch? Mmm. I'm going to take a bit of that mocha down. So the I really like the nudes or the earth tone colors. There's quite a few different ones to choose from and I really, really like them. So we're going to go in, I think, trying to debate, maybe with some cedar. I'm using this in the crease. I'm going down the front towards the bridge of my nose and we'll, we'll pick that up on the edge here where I have the wing. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up some of the mocha to go in on top of the cedar and kind of blend these two together. Okay, so the lids of my eyes are looking pretty crazy. So I'm going to take a flat brush and I was I couldn't determine between the steel wool and the fairy tale, but I think the fairy tale is where I'm going to go. So I'm going to pick up some of this fairy tale. It's not going on as dark as it is in the pan, so I'm going to switch to my finger. That seems to have picked up a bit better. Now for underneath the eye, which I'm hoping my eyes won't be crazy today, one can never know. I love this peacock color. This peacock color is stunning. So I'm going to pick that up on one of these little fluffier brushes. I 
I may have a hot mess by the time it's all done and said. In my mind, it sounded like a good combo. We shall see. Remember, keep going till you get to the end. If you stop midway because something looks funny, you may have missed out on a good eye look. Okay, I'm going to take the now eyeliner side of this San Filippo. And when I was using it last night, it went on really good. I mean, that looks like a major kind of eyeliner, but it actually went, I did play with this a little bit. And usually these ink ones don't do anything for me. These ink ones, I'm like, dang. So I actually ordered a black one. They only have black in the United States, but their website elsewhere has other colors and I really wanted the hazelnut because I do a lot of browns. But for whatever reason, you can't get anything but black in the United States. And that color peacock is pretty, it's pretty potent itself. So I can't wait to get the black one. Okay, we're going to go with waterproof or water resistant underneath the eye. And we'll put mascara on top. I'm also going to add a highlighter, so we'll do that. And I probably will take a little bit, and I might as well do that now while I got y'all, is I'm going to use another smudge brush and pick up probably some cedar and mocha together to ground that blue a little bit more, which I think that ended up that's prettier this is so bright and then it kind of falls off i think adding that cedar and the mocha on the very bottom of that blue is exactly what it needs to ground it okay so now we'll get into eyelashes and i'll be back thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it today i really enjoyed using some new products and i really thank sabrina the makeup mom for sending me a little love box um i love you dearly my beautiful sister-in-law um and thank you for being on this uh grabbing me and putting me on this journey with you as far as the youtube channel because i really had had a great time um learning new tricks and tips and trying things out and actually being on uh, on camera it really puts you in a vulnerable position yeah vulnerable position is an understatement so anyways I do want to say thank you to Sabrina the makeup mom for um, pushing me outside of my comfort zone and helping me get my channel set up a year and a half ago and yeah she's just an, an absolute wonderful person so if you've not watched Sabrina the makeup mom her links are below You'll really enjoy her. She's cute, she's adorable, she's sweet, and she's got even better of a soul than what comes through on camera. She's just an amazing, amazing person. Um, I still I, 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 still thank my brother for finding her and bringing her into our family. He did an amazing choice bringing Sabrina in. So anyways, I hope you all have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.